Newcastle disease is one of the deadliest threats to poultry farmers. It is so deadly because it can actually wipe out an entire flock if not detected early. In this video today, we're going to look at some of the key symptoms of Newcastle disease, especially in layer poultry farming and how you can prevent them, you know, the symptoms and how to prevent them and what to do if you detect Newcastle disease in your farm. Stick around. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Poetry with Modupe. My name is Modupe. I am a layer poetry farmer doing business in Nigeria. If you're seeing my face for the first time, if you're coming across a video from me for the first time, welcome here. Please do well to subscribe on this channel before you leave because on this channel, what I talk about here is mostly layer poetry farming, agriculture, basically poetry farming. Anyway, as the name implies, Poetry with Modupe. And if you're a returning subscriber, my people thank you for stopping by again so let's get into today's business because before we even talk about symptoms of newcastle disease the key symptoms of newcastle disease we have to also talk about what newcastle disease is yeah let's get into it newcastle disease is a highly contagious viral infection that affects poultry including layer poultry it spreads through direct contact with infected birds contaminated feed water equipment and even humans who handle sick birds the virus attack multiple systems in the bird's body causing respiratory digestive and nervous symptoms now let's break down these symptoms one by one first one we're looking at is the respiratory symptoms so the first signs of newcastle disease often appear in the respiratory system so as a poultry farmer a layer poultry farmer you have to watch out for some of these symptoms I'm also going to write them on the screen also. So you have to watch out for gasping for hair. Are the birds gasping for hair? Are they sneezing and coughing? Is there nasal discharge? Noisy breathing or wheezing? These symptoms occur because the virus attacks the lungs and airways, making it hard for the birds to breathe. So you have to watch out for these symptoms. Gasping for hair, sneezing, coughing, nasal discharge, noisy breathing. So these ones I mentioned are the respiratory symptoms of Newcastle disease in a layer poultry farm or in any poultry farm at all. The next one will be the digestive sy symptoms. So when your birds are eating less, it is actually an issue. So with this flock, they were eating like five bags a day. Before I knew what was happening, it reduced to four bags. It reduced to three bags. But things are getting better now. They start eating four bags again. So if your birds are infected, their digestive system will also be affected. Here are some, some symptoms you should look out for in your flock. Um, so one is that they are going to lose appetite, loss of appetite. Birds stop eating or drinking water, drinking enough water. Then there's going to be greenish or watery diarrhea. There's also going to be swollen intestine. This can be noticed during autopsy. So sometimes when these birds, uh, when there's mortality, you open them up. Some of the time you open these birds up so that you know, you'd observe what's inside them. Then you're able to know that, okay, this is the issue. If you have not subscribed on my channel at this point, tell me what are you waiting for? Please click on the subscribe button. Please like, please share, please comment. And... I'd also like to hear from you also. What do you think about this Newcastle disease? Have you experienced it on your farm before? Share and let us learn together. And what did you do to fix it? So as the disease progresses, it begins to affect the nervous system. You may notice twisting of the neck. You may notice paralysis of the legs and wings. You may notice tremors or shaking. You may also notice loss of balance or uncoordinated movements. These symptoms happen because the virus damages the brain and nerves, making it difficult for the bird to control its movements. Then another one is the egg production and reproductive symptoms. You know, I have also said during the digestive symptoms that the birds will not eat enough feed. And when they don't eat enough feed, they would not produce as they should produce. So if, as a layer poultry farmer, one of your most concerning symptoms of Newcastle disease is a sudden drop in egg production. 
and here is what happened a sharp decline in the number of eggs laid soft shell or miss soft shell eggs thin shell eggs that breaks easily this is because the virus weakens the reproductive system making it difficult for them to produce healthy birds then another symptom will have to be sudden death in the flock so in severe cases Newcastle disease can cause sudden death in birds they may even show symptoms and they may not show symptoms so if you find dead birds in your flock without an obvious cause Newcastle disease might actually be the culprit so what do you do if you notice this disease on your farm the first thing you have to do is you have to act very very fast Newcastle disease is not a farmer's friend you have to nip it in the bud very very quickly so the first thing you will do is that you have to isolate the sick bird just pick out the birds that you notice these symptoms in and isolate them and this is why as a layer poultry farmer as a poultry farmer you have to have like a designated quarantine area in your farm so on our farm here we have something we call the sick bay where we isolate sick birds we just keep them somewhere we isolate them from the rest of the flock like if we notice any sick bird in each of the cell we take the sick bird out and isolate it give it feed and just pay very special attention to the bed till it gets well and we bring them back to the cage the second thing you have to do now is that you have to inform your vet even as an experienced poultry farmer you need your vet you need to have a vet you can easily call on so immediately inform your vet that okay this is what you you're noticing on your farm ask them come over or you take maybe one of the dead birds or sick bird to them so for me at my own farm here yeah, we have a vest we usually use so i just inform the vet hello sal this is what is happening on my farm then he will send his guys his boys to come here and take samples from the birds and if there's any dead one they will take it along to their lab run the test and and give us the analysis the results of the test in about a day or thereabout so you have to also once you isolate the birds the sick once you isolate the sick bird inform your vets then at this period another thing you have to do seriously is that you have to increase your biosecurity measures on your farm so if your if your attendant like this is the period you have to also tell them that stick on um stick on the biosecurity measures and tell them this is how you should do things just ensure that they are doing things well because sometimes your staff may even be the one getting you in trouble so increase your biosecurity measures on the farm then now you know you have to vaccinate your birds so this um newcastle disease is such a huge thing so every month you know when we tell you that every month you have to stick to your medication and vaccination schedule it is just to prevent things like this so immediately you have to vaccinate your bird you have to use um maybe the double dose lasota ng and ib which is Newcastle disease and infectious bronchitis, you have to use it immediately. Vaccinate the birds and you see the difference in no time. But then, like I would say, don't wait for something to happen before you do what you should do. Stick to your medication schedule, um, increase the biosecurity measures on your farm. Once you notice sick bird, isolate them immediately. This is also a reminder to let you know that I offer online consultation for intending poultry farmer and for poultry farmer who are looking to scale up in their business so reach out to me if it's something you're interested in please click on the seller link in the description box to book your own consultation session with me let's talk about your project let's talk about your business newcastle disease is deadly but with early detection and strict biosecurity measures on your farm you can you can be sure that you would prevent it and also protect your farm if you have ever encountered newcastle disease on your farm please let us know in the comment section and also let us know how you handled it a whole lot of people might also be learning from you and if you found this video helpful please like please share please comment and don't forget to subscribe another thing also please don't skip my heart that's your way of supporting me on this channel so we'll see you on another video where i bring another poultry farming tips to you bye bye